Greetings, welcome back to Gain's Kitchen. I have omitted the F-bomb from it. I felt that was redundant at this stage. I hope my glorious guns make up for this change in the program. But anyway, this is a follow-up to a recipe I made a while back in regards to oats. So what we have here is some soaked oats looks like that and Long story short, you have oats, and oats along with a lot of other growing things from Mother Earth. They don't want to be eaten, so you have to trick them a bit to make them get rid of certain detrimental things. So what we're doing is simply putting it overnight in water along with a source of apple cider vinegar. You can choose some other things here as well, lemon juice for example. So what that will do is simply to trick the oats into releasing said detrimental aspects of it. So that is what we're doing. We're simply tricking it to believe it's in fertile soil. So instead of going through our digestive system and not really giving us optimal nutrition, we can optimize the meal by preparing it a bit. So what I've done is simply what I will do now. So just a bowl and we're gonna pour some good old oats in it. Something like that. I never measure, I just go with a general estimate. Then we're going to add our apple cider vinegar. Looks like this. And again, I'm not going to be ultra strict with the amount. You can of course be stricter if you want, but I'm just pouring in some here. Like that. That's maybe a tablespoon or two. Then what we want to do is simply put some water in it. Something like that, so it covers the entire thing. Then we just want to keep this overnight or even 24 hours out in room temperature. So I'm just going to place this somewhere so I can have it before training tomorrow. Then of course this I prepared yesterday so I could have it before today's training. So what I'm going to do now, and this is super necessary, I'm quoting Jorge Masvidal there when I say super necessary. So what we're going to do is, since we've used apple cider vinegar, it's not a particularly pleasant taste, so we're going to rinse this extremely well. So I will do that now before I empty it into another bowl and add the other ingredients. So, there we go. The oxalates of the oats, which interfere with the absorption of certain minerals, they're gone and we can thus enjoy this pre-workout meal. And you saw I added some other things as well to it. So some banana, some peanut butter and some cinnamon. So it's a semi-colonial treat, this, that you can eat before training every once in a while. Uh, main thing, just getting some carbs in, getting some good nutrition in to fuel the workout. And I use this for whatever I'm training. It can be a session in the Temple of Ares, the Temple of Tyr, the Temple of Thor, aka the Temple of Iron. So I use it for basically everything. Um, you don't have to use the additional things, but oats, if you eat it, it's a cheap source of good fuel. But be sure to get rid of the oxalites and soak them overnight first. So now I will train something fun. I hope that was informative for you and that you have a good session, whatever you train. XXO. Boom. Now, on a another note, in regards to porn, I always need to remind everyone to stop watching it. You can view it in the following way. If you stop watching porn, life itself will become more vivid. So if you admire the tree behind me there, it's absolutely beautiful, it's vivid. And imagine if it was 
desaturated, imagine if it was grey and dull, that is your mind on porn. Whereas if you go off porn, you will start seeing life in more vibrant and glorious colors. So yeah, last message from me, stop watching porn. Driving along and suddenly we stumble upon a meadow. Quite aesthetic. So, what is the fun thing I am training, you might ask? Yes, we're doing some squats today and the full training video log is available on my Patreon for those of you who are subscribed to the Physique Manufactorum on either Patreon or Subscribestar. So, I'll see you all over there. XXO, boom!